careful with your heart. Choose healthy options this Valentine's Day. The Department of Health spearheads the celebration of Heart Month this February with the team Gulay at Prutas Araw-Arawin, Matamis, Mamantika, at Maalat Hinay-Hinayin. This Valentine's Day, the public is reminded to choose heart-healthy gifts or practice healthy lifestyle and diet to keep oneself healthy. Here are some heart-friendly tips from the DOH. Number one, instead of buying your sweetheart an overload of cakes, sweets, fatty foods, why not give a more permanent gift? A poem, a letter, or a message that may convey more feelings. If you choose to buy chocolates, choose dark chocolates with less sugar and caramel added. Dark chocolate should be made up of at least 60 to 70% cacao. It has flavonoids, uh, antioxidants, which are good for the heart and blood vessels. Eat only a moderate amount, approximately one ounce, around 30 grams, gato kaliit yun, a day. Be active, number three, be active on Valentine's Day. Plan an outing or walk around the park or mall. Walking for 30 minutes is good for your heart. Number four, home cooking is healthier than restaurant food. Instead of an expensive restaurant date, why not cook at home and enjoy a romantic dinner for two? For example, you can eat fish, like tuna, mackerel, bangus, and salmon. Number five, split your meal in two. If you still want to go to a restaurant for a date, magtipid kayo muna. Split your meal so you can cut your calorie and intake in half. Number six, give fresh fruits. If you want to eat something sweet, local fresh fruits in season are the healthier choice. Seven, don't smoke. If your sweetheart is a smoker, encourage him or her to quit smoking. Smoking can lead to a heart attack and, or stroke. Hence, quitting is the best Valentine's gift for your loved one. Eight, be faithful to your partner. Reduce your stress and enjoy life more. So in the Philippines, deaths related to non-communicable diseases are attributed to cardiovascular diseases, 33%, cancers, 10%, diabetes, 6%, and chronic respiratory diseases, 5%. WHO report on NCD country profiles, 2014. The Food and Nutrition Research Institute, FNRI, National Nutrition Survey showed that there is an increasing prevalence in the following behavioral factors from 2008 to 2013. Diabetes, for example, increased from 4.8% to 5.4% of the population. Overweight among adults increased from 26.6% to 31.1%, while decreasing trends of hypertension uh, from 25.3% to 22.3%, and current adult smokers also decreased from 31% to 25.4%. Last 2016, the DOH launched the establishment of DOH Hypertension and Diabetes Club. This will be scaled up nationwide to enhance the initiatives in addressing non-communicable diseases, or NCDs, and will serve as a support group in communities to disseminate information and ensure that appropriate management is provided to all patients. As of February 2017, more than 600,000 patients are registered in our clubs. To be part of DOH Hypertension and Diabetes Club, the client needs to consult the nearest health center, 
primary health care facility to undergo assessment, screening, and management using the Philippine Package of Essential NCD Intervention, or PhilPen protocol. Once a patient is diagnosed to have hypertension and or diabetes, he or she will be enrolled to the club. Members can access DOH drugs for hypertension, like losartan, amlodipine, and metoprolol, and diabetes meds, metformin, for free. They will also benefit from activities promoting healthy lifestyle. So be kind to your heart, be careful with your heart, choose healthier options this Valentine's Day. Maintain a regular diet and exercise. Gulay at prutas araw-arawin. Matamis, mamantika, at maalat hinay-hinay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Secretary of po sa graduate. Itong mga nakalipas po na taon, ang DOH po nakaugalian na yung pamamahagi ng kondom, lalo na po sa damo. Ngayong taon po ba gagawin pa rin ito ng DOH? Um, uh, we are actually providing condoms every day, not just uh, during Valentine's Day. And this is provided through the local government units, our partners in the health centers. So, yan po ay uh, continue yung ating uh, pag-provide ng free condoms, particularly to at-risk populations. Pero it is through the health centers. So, hindi po kayo magbibigay, mag-iikot bukas sa mga mataong lugar para mamigay ng condom? Uh, not at this time, but uh, we are not uh, also discouraging our partners like the local government units and uh, NGOs to do that. Valentine's Day, known na yung mga hotels, hotels na pupuno. So, anong advice niyo po dun sa mga couples na pupunta doon? And may meron na mention po yung be faithful to your partner. What do you mean by that? Oo, yung advocacy natin this year, be careful with your heart, be faithful to your partner, uh, to your partner, reduce your stress and enjoy life more. Because it's really documented and evidence-based that if you have, uh, shall we say, several partners, it's more stressful. No? So that is the advice for this heart of months so that you can enjoy uh, the celebration and to keep your heart healthy, be faithful. sa mga pupunta sa mga motels, anong advice mo? Si... Yung sir, bayudo ang mag-a-advise. Narinig mo yata yung advice. Sila. Para, para hindi ka stress at pipila ka pa, ang bus booking through the internet, maybe alam, may doon sa motels na. Yeah. And kung hihingi ng condom, again, sa sabi nga ni Sek, we do not discourage our partners to do that. So, Valentine's Manyan or what? So, every day, uh, providing condoms as part of our advocacy and service uh, intervention, uh, we encourage and we will support CSOs, NGOs, and local governments who will be uh, taking opportunity of the Valentine's uh, celebration as a uh, opportunity for promoting condom use. Do you advise them to use condoms when they go to motel? Uh, I think even if your partner is your legal legal partner, uh, if you don't have plan of getting pregnant, that's the best way to one of one of the best way to to prevent pregnancy. And uh, sometimes even if you plan to uh, get pregnant, uh, at this time that we are not yet very certain about Zika, uh, we also uh, somehow encourage. Uh, protected uh, sex, even among uh, couples.
the burning po from UITV. About Surigao's uh, issue po, possible po kasi na magkaroon ng contamination and uh, ng tubig at yung pong pagbangon po ng iba't ibang mga sakit doon sa trahedya na nangyari sa Surigao. Ano po yung plan po ng DOH tungkol po doon? Uh, yes, um, we're actually prepared for that uh, and uh, we have uh, guidelines actually based on our experience in Typhoon Yolanda. So the plan is for household disinfecting of all drinking water. So we're advising everyone in Surigao, even if the water comes from allegedly safe sources to disinfect it before they, they drink it. So we're right now distributing jerry cans in the in DC Yusek Jerry, but the cans that are colored blue and uh, with faucet. And then they were also distributing the dis disinfecting solutions, the hyposol or chlorine tablets, so that all drinking water should be disinfected. If they cannot do that or they don't have that, they have to boil the water for 20 minutes or more so that it will be safe. So that's our advice. And then also, um, our teams are now going around uh, trying to identify all the patients who have had injuries, even very small uh, wounds, to have uh, tetanus toxoid injections. Because that's also one of the things that we prepare for the, the tetanus as a problem. Then we're also providing prophylaxis for possible leptospirosis because of the ongoing uh, floods in many areas of Surigao and Agusan and therefore a lot of uh, earthquake victims might be exposed to the floods. Then we're also uh, deploying teams in all evacuation centers to provide vitamin A and zinc to children below five years old. So that's a standard of the DOH. And to look at the disease trends in the evacuation centers to probably detect any outbreaks that might happen. So yun yung ating situation. Opo ma'am, isa pa po, tungkol po doon sa HIV positive blood units increase in 2016, ano po yung action para maiwasan? Pati po yung maling labeling sa mga blood units? Wala po bang... <laughs> well, oh, oh, I think the, the wrong labeling is uh, that's a, an error, that's a medical error, no? but it's not uh, happening on a regular basis. But uh, the HIV uh, screen blood units are actually discarded. They, are, they undergo screening, that's the first level. And then they undergo confirmatory testing. So, yung mga confirmatory positive, we do contact tracing. So, we get all the, the donors that have undergone uh, that are positive for the confirmatory test and we do counseling and uh, we ask them if they have partners to also have their partners tested. So that's our uh, method now and uh, instead of the needle prick that we used to do for, for typing and screening the blood, we're now doing tube uh, extraction, blood extraction, and testing the uh, serum. Dati kasi pinprick lang tayo, so that's uh, not so accurate. But now what we're doing is the tube method for blood typing. So, wala nang uh, errors in labeling. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Um, second question lang po. Update lang po doon sa Aunayin ko po muna sa drug rehab. Kamusta na po yung uh, ating, sa mega drug rehab and sa Nueva Ecija, kamusta na po yung um, update doon? Mer ilan na po yung mga uh, nagdoon sa ngayon? Um, 
We, we just uh, conducted our drug rehab summit last week in Clark, and uh, we had 10 governors from nearby uh, provinces and also the governor of uh, Bohol actually attended to highlight uh, our need to cooperate with the local government units in terms of identifying patients for the drug rehab and also support to the identified patients. So as of now, we have 133 um, patients in the Nueva Ecija, Fort Magsaysay uh, treatment and rehab centers. And almost every week, there's now a steady flow of referrals from the local government units. And one thing we also, I think, uh, fresh out with the uh, mega treatment uh, and uh, the newer rehab centers is the need for the local uh, judges to actually come out with a court order so that the DOH will not be accused of uh, kidnapping or illegal detention of the patients because you need a court order to uh, admit all these uh, treatment uh, and drug abuse patients. So we, we have threshed that out with Attorney Young, the, uh, and he's helping us with the prosecutors and with the judges in Central Luzon. And hopefully, when we open the other mega treatment and rehab centers nationwide, that will no longer be a problem. Secondly, uh, I, as I mentioned, that would be on a voluntary basis. So, while I'm not volunteer, I think only uh, less than 10 of the um, patients from Bikutan actually went to Nueva Ecija. So, so uh, that's uh, what happened. In Diho natin, we cannot force them to go there if they don't want to. So, it's on a voluntary basis. So there are a number of patients from Bikutan who, who went to Nueva Ecija, but uh, it's very few. Ano po siguro yung masasabi natin or um, maengganyo ba natin yung mga um, others na taga North or Central Luzon to stay there na lang instead of dito sa metro na nagkakasiksikan? Well, as I mentioned when we started facing this uh, uh, treatment and rehabilitation issues last year that uh, we will take it one day at a time because we cannot predict no we have no uh, existing model of how the mega treatment and rehab facility will be operationalized not in the Philippines and not outside the country there's no mega facility outside the Philippines. This is the first one of its kind. And the facilities uh, that we know of outside the country is about 200 to 300 beds. The Bikutan is designed for 500 beds. So that's our biggest facility. And across the country, we're building mega treatment. At, uh, we're now uh, having this decision that the big, biggest treatment center that we will build is a 500 bed capacity, not the mega, where we we were announcing before that our idea is about 2,000 uh, inpatients. But right now, we're looking at uh, really downsizing so that it is really manageable. And we see that in the last seven months that there is really uh, no need for a residential type of facilities because the community-based uh, program is now operational. Okay po. Um, Sir, follow up din po sa Zika case natin. Um, recently daw po ata, parang meron ata sa Cebu. Kamusta po? May totoo po ba? Or meron po bang updates po sa Zika? No. Uh, our, our latest is 57 cases and uh, the latest was Iloilo, not Cebu. But uh, the one in 
Iloilo. Uh, it was reported as microcephaly. However, it was uh, 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 meningocele or encephalocele. So it's a brain defect, but it's not uh, microcephaly. Thank you. Um, last question for me. Update naman po sa Meningo Coxenia. Um, this morning received a uh, text message, I don't know if pa din yung ibang media, na nagsasabi na meron na naman pong bagong case ng Meningo Coxenia na namatay daw po yung bata. And um, follow up lang po, kamusta na po ba? Kasi last week, meron din pong napabalita na Meningo case dito sa Maynila. Bata rin daw po. Uh, of course, bata. Pero kamusta na po ba yung kaso ng mga uh, meningococcemia sa atin? Uh, actually, meningococcemia happens all year round. Ano? And it's sporadic. It's uh, an event that does not go away. But uh, what we're looking for in meningococcemia is the clustering of cases. So, as of now, meron talagang reported one or two to uh, all year round in certain parts of the country, but it's not parang clustered in a particular area. Do we have a report? Kasi wala, oh, oh. wala akong ano, data as of now. Okay po. May, uh, if I may po sec, no, babasahin ko lang din. Ang sabi po kasi dito, um, Four-year-old girl from Graciano Lopez High School died sa Manigo Coxinia last week, San Lazaro. According to the assistant principal, the local government has already given prophylaxis for all students and personnel of the school. Um, nagbigay na rin daw po ng prophylaxis sa neighbors nung bata. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung cousin niya, naka-experience din daw po ng fever. Tapos yung assistant principal, nakipag-usap mm -hmm. na hindi daw po sure kung confirmed meningo to or hindi. So ano na lang po siguro yung paalala natin sa mga uh, reported na meningo tapos po sa neighbors po nila and then syempre sa family. Ano po yung una nilang dapat gawin? Uh, yes, um, as I mentioned, meningo coxemia happens uh, sporadically whole, whole year round. And we really have to confirm the case based on laboratory diagnosis. So, okay lang yun nag-prophylaxis sila, pero maganda sana doon is na-confirm uh, muna bago nagbigay ng, ng treatment. And our advice to the population is to have their uh, children brought to a hospital if they develop fever and rashes. No, so so that that can be confirmed whether it's uh, meningococcemia or other diseases. Mama, kung kung lang kung saan yung reaction and actually, yung kasi may announcement si Governor Remodel of Cavite, they're facing daw yung health crisis because yung yung regarding the sunog sa yung sa factory, yeah, yung hospital daw not capable of handling uh, burnt patients so na mga problema sila doon. And yung mga pa family, ayaw nilang i-transfer yung pasyente outside of Cavite, like PGH, kasi mahirapan sila magbantay. Ano po yung pwedeng assistance ng DOH doon? Well, uh, we can actually work it out with the local government unit that we will provide the medical assistance to the LGU hospital. Or if it's a... Uh, uh, private hospital will can also provide medical assistance because this is a, a, a shall we say a disaster or a health emergency situation so we'll uh, work with the governor on this are you sending team to check po yung ano isa yata problema ma'am yung, yung facility uh, may problema sa facility ng hospital for burn patients uh -huh. So we will, uh, we will also have our technical people look into the facility if we can assist them in uh, uh, improving the situation. Kasi nga kailangan sterile talaga, especially for burn. No? Thank you, ma'am. 
Uh, Ma'am, good morning. Yung odds sa regal ulit, kahapon po it was reported na meron po mga patients na nasa loob ng mga medical facilities natin, especially Caraga Hospital, na pilit dumalabas dahil natatakot sila baka anytime daw mag-collapse yung building. Ano pong uh, sinasabing assurance ng DOH sa kanila? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, set up tents outside the hospital in case the patients don't want to come back to the wards because we, we really... Although there has been assurances from safety officers that the building is structurally sound, the Caraga Regional Hospital, but if the patients uh, insist or because of their fear, they don't want to come back, then we, we make room for that. No? So they are accommodated in tents and uh, other areas of the hospital like yung covered walk we we accommodate them there but uh, we have about three teams already on the ground from the uh, Caraga region from northern Mindanao and also from uh, Davao region to provide the uh, uh, so psychosocial support and uh, uh, to provide mental health uh, 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 advice and uh, debriefing to all the patients in Caraga Regional Hospital. Yung, yung ano naman doon, kasi yung fear, you cannot uh, erase that. You cannot disregard that. So it will take uh, some time and we allow for that. We allow the patients. Hindi natin pipilitin kung ayaw po nila bumalik sa hospital. Uh, Ma'am, meron ko pa tayong figure kung ilang medical facilities natin doon ang affected or medyo alanganin ang structural stability. Uh, currently, in the report that we have, and our teams are now conducting uh, a thorough assessment of the health facilities, only one facility is reported to be damaged, and that's the Caraga Regional Hospital, with a value of around 7 million Thank you. Secretary Sasson, where I left the French News Agency. Um, you were quoted in the papers uh, last week as saying you wanted to ban, to ban certain pornographic sites to control uh, the spread of uh, certain uh, communicable diseases. I, I just want to uh, be sure that you were about the context of that uh, reported statement. Uh, it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was interviewed after we had the press conference on the mega treatment and rehab centers. And I did not say that. The reporter asked me, Doctor, there are other countries who ban pornographic sites to reduce uh, probably promiscuity or early premarital sex. Uh, will you do that? I said we will explore it, but I did not say we will ban the pornographic site. We will explore it. So that's the context of that statement. And an and, uh, unrelated question, uh, there, there is some concern on the health of, the, uh, the, of our president. He, he speaks about his uh, severe headaches, and he speaks about having to use uh, strong drugs to, to, to control the pain? Should the, should the nation, should Filipinos be concerned? And what is really happening with the president? Uh, yes, the president is as healthy as a horse. <laughs> but uh, he has uh, problems with uh, migraine, with uh, Burger's disease. You know, Burger's disease is a result of uh, smoking. And the president has that. So. Um, I'm telling reporters that uh, the president has some um, health concerns. It's bothersome, but not critical. It doesn't uh, affect his uh, ability to perform his duty as president. Yes, that's true. So, uh, in fact, even in cabinet meetings, we are surprised by his stamina that after four to six hours of meeting that he is still very much... Uh, uh, alert and uh, uh, awake, whereas uh, many of the members of the cabinet are already sleepy. 
No, and then after cabinet meetings, we still have other meetings to attend to. So that's the the picture of health of our president. He's really uh, very healthy. He's uh, he has a very good uh, stamina, level of energy, and we are really uh, very supportive of his uh, overall uh, health and. Uh, ability to lead this country. So thank you so much. That ends our press conference. You're invited to visit our food fair over at the back. We have a nutritious food. You can take uh, some samples. Okay. Some of them are for sale. <laughs>